All right, let's talk about the functionality of this machine. Uh, this Again, this is the HP 4935A transmission test set. Um, so let's take a look at the block diagram. On the front of the instrument, there's two um, what look like quarter-inch stereo jacks. They're 310 w w Waco, W-E-C-O, 310. It's a standard. The plug is a slightly different than a uh, quarter-inch phono, uh, you know, stereo phono jack, but it seems as though that the, 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 the regular quarter-inch ones work in the socket that I have. So anyway, uh, the important part here is that the uh, body of the connector is, uh, here, I'll show you one, the, uh, the body is ground, just a shield, and then you have a loop, so you have a reference between negative and positive, the, the, the ring and the tip, okay? And so the uh, ring and the tip. And those two things uh, come in and they can get switched. They can go this way or they can go this way. This one can go this way. You can swap them. All right. Or you can hook them together. You can see that the uh, tip and the ring get together here and the ring and the tip uh, get together over there. So uh, we have a... Um, transmit section and the receive section. So the transmit comes here, goes through an output transformer into this loop. Um, there's also something called hold and something called dial. I don't know what those protocols are for, like when you pick up the phone, there's a dial tone and that's what this dial does here. I'm not quite sure how that works quite yet, but that's okay. Uh, this is the transmit and then the other is the input. So this is the output, this is the input the receiver and it can do uh, several things. So let's just talk about the transmit first, okay? All right, so I'm gonna plug into the transmit here and I have a uh, scope probe hooked up between uh, tip and uh, ring and tip. And we'll go here to around zero dBm. All right, so we have a sine wave coming out. So we're at zero dBm into 600 ohms. That's giving us about plus or minus, uh, let's see here, let's go to set the scope probe correctly to times 10. So we're getting plus or minus two volts, plus two volts, minus two volts. And uh, there's a knob, knob on the front that allows you to change the amplitude and we can watch that work here. So uh, we can go down really small or we can go up here to two volts again, we'll put it right about two volts. We're getting minus 1.2 dBm. So we should be terminated with 600 ohms. We're not, so the you know things aren't going to work out mathematically. But just to get the idea that we can change frequency and we can change amplitude. So let's change frequency. Uh, let's see here. We can do that. And we can go the other way. There's 400. Okay, now you may have noticed that the... Uh, Frequency started out at 400, uh, 1004. There's a reason for that. They say that some particular um, telephone circuits don't like 1000 ohms, and so they always offset it by 4 hertz uh, just to get out of any problems and stuff. But we can, uh, we can set it at 1000, okay? So let's see how accurate it is. Uh, measure, we'll turn on the counter. Yeah, look at that, 1000. Exactly. All right, let's go here to uh, 2,000, perfect, 3,000, perfect. Now this thing has a, a specification. It can go up to uh, 100, 100 kilohertz, 110 kilohertz actually. So let's see if we can get it to go up to higher. So there's uh, 13 kilohertz. Let's see here, step up, uh, 93, 103, all right, so, oh, there we go, 110, all right, so it will go to 110, and it's still a beautiful sine wave, and it's leveled and everything, so, uh, yeah, that thing can go up to 100, 110 kilohertz, and it can go down to, uh, 20 hertz, so let's see if we can't uh, 
get it to uh, step down here to 20 hertz. It's not the best interface. Uh, there's 20 hertz. Can we go any lower? No. 20 hertz is as low as we can go. And we are measuring, it's kind of flopping around a bit, but yeah, 20 hertz. All right, looking good. So 20 hertz to 110 kilohertz. So that's worth something, right? Uh, we can change the amplitude from minus 40 to plus 13 dBm. So that's pretty cool. All right, uh, what else can we do? Um, so let's go back up to 1,000. We can make that tone, that's 1,020. Let's see, let's go back over. We'll put it right where they like it. They like 100, 1,004. All right. Um, The other thing that I have played with, let's show that off, okay? So that is the output section. Let's take a look at the input section. We can change the display between transmit. So this is what we're transmitting. And we can go over to receive, and this is what we're receiving. And we're not receiving anything at all, okay? If I push both buttons at the same time, uh, that's supposed to loop the input to the output, and so we are seeing the same thing, a thousand and, and four. So it can it can hear itself. Okay, so let's go back, and um, it's uh, not um, showing anything on receive. Okay, and what we're going to do is inject some frequencies. Okay. So I'm going to hook up a function generator and uh, we're going, I could either plug it into this one or I can just say reverse and now this one's acting as the receiver. So it's receiving something, okay? It's not receiving anything at all. If I go over here to our, um, uh, well, this has two different generators. We'll to go to the one generator, it is set to... Um, Let's see here. Uh, it's set to one kilohertz. And we're measuring one kilohertz. Look at that. Let's set the frequency to 1356 hertz. And we're getting 1356 hertz over here. So it's acting as a really good counter. Let's see if we can do 100 uh, kilohertz. 100 kilohertz, oops, kilohertz, there we go. And yes, indeed, 100 kilohertz, so that worked. Let's go down to um, uh, 10 hertz and see if it knows what to do with that. Ah, it can measure 10 hertz, ooh, interesting. So it's supposed to only go down to 20 hertz. Let's see, receiver, receiver, transmitter. Oh, now the transmitter goes to 20, but the receiver does go to 10. Okay, let's see if we can do five. Five hertz. Yeah, and we're getting nothing, nothing here. So let's say our frequency was uh, one, two, three, four hertz. And we're getting one, two, three, four hertz. All right. And we can measure the uh, signal. Right now we're getting minus 13 dBm. That was with a half a volt over here. I can turn it up here. Yes, it's measuring how much power it's receiving. Again, in order to make this accurate, you would need to have 600 ohms uh, or 135 ohms or 900 ohms. Okay, it has uh, switches here. So you can set the impedance of the system to 135, 600, and 900, okay? Um, so those are standard telephone, I guess. All right. Now, uh, measurement. We can go to noise. It's going to be measuring noise. And we could go to here, and we can output some noise. Let's put some noise. So now we're out inputting noise. And uh, what are we getting over here? 
it says 36 dBm, 35 dBm. Let's increase the amplitude or decrease the amplitude of the noise. Um, let's see here, noise. Yeah, I made it smaller. Oh, there you go. That got smaller. I'm at 131 millivolts. Now I'm going to make it uh, as big as it goes over here. Yeah, 51. So it does measure the amount of noise that you have. All right, so let's go back to transmitting. We're going to transmit uh, noise with tone, signal to noise. Let's see if we can hear that. What? Signal to noise. I'm not sure what that is. Impulse noise. Oh, that one sounds different. Okay, let's take a look at that one. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting signal. Let's see if we can trigger better on that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Very strange, uh, very strange uh, signal. Even knows what that is. It's P slash A R. Pulse. A. I don't know. I don't know what anything's are, but anyway, that's a pretty cool signal. You might be able to use that for something. Um, you can change the amplitude of that thing. Okay, fine. And um, I, I don't know what it does though. Yeah. Okay, so now I have it set up to uh, output noise. Okay, and I have it looping on itself so it can hear its, its own noise. And we can hear its noise here. And we can kind of see the noise over there, although it's not a very, uh, not a very impressive uh, thing. If I uh, turn persistence up, let's see here, two seconds. Yeah, you can see that it is, it is uh, building up a, uh, there is some kind of uh, noise that's being generated over there. Okay. Uh, there's also a filter on the receiver. So the receiver can listen with a bandpass uh, filter called C message. There's a 300 kilohertz low pass flat. You hear it sound a little bit different. It's cutting off some of that highs. And then here's a 1500, should go higher in frequency again. There you go, you hear more uh, high frequency content. Hopefully you can hear that. There's some kind of programmable filter. I don't know how you do that. 500 K bit. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be any use of anything, but it is in there. Now you can generate noise or you can generate noise with a tone on it. And here you can hear a tone plus noise. And then I think this is the amount of noise to add. I guess it's the amount of carry or above the noise or something. I don't know, something like that. Signals noise. Oh. Oh, you hear that one. Noise, no noise. Noise, no noise. So you can sort of compare the two. That's interesting. Impulse noise. I, I sort of understand what they're trying to do, but I can't get it to work. And that is every once in a while, they'll, they'll have a, a noise, a impulse noise. Maybe you have to generate it yourself. And then it counts, it says counts here, counts how many times it sees noise. If I sort of play with the buttons and stuff, I can sometimes get it to count. Yeah, I'm not getting it to count. Anyway, it uh, sometimes counts. And then this here says, do you want to accumulate for five minutes or 15 minutes or 60 minutes? You can say start. I mean, we need to say start. And then if I make some noise, it's, is it? Yeah, I, I don't know. This is counting. 
here's the number of counts. I, I just can't make it. I can't make it work. Sorry. Uh, stop. Yeah. Number of counts. And then here's the threshold, low, mid, and high thresholds. And then just maybe just a timer start. I, I, I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet.